Um, well, it's kind of similar to, to the men's team. Uh, we have some uh, old faces and we have some new faces, and uh, it has created, again, a great dynamic between the two sides. Uh, young people sparking the old people, like I said, getting them going. Um, and, it's, and the mileage was good. This, I mean, this is one of the best summers in the men's side and women's side that we've had, and that's going to showcase at the end of the year. I mean, I tell them right now, you may not see the times you want. We're dealing with, you know, Florida hum heat and humidity year round and as it starts to cool down uh, that's when the times will drop the mileage will pay off and uh, this group has worked hard to get to the point they are and uh, I think they're excited to see how the season is going to get underway. You, you, know, you talked about being similar to kind of the men's story as far as that. How, how deep is this team? And, I mean is it a similar type of dynamic where you have maybe more depth yeah, so uh, the, I think that just the average time uh, from last year, we were, we're probably going to be 30 seconds faster out the gate this year, um, which is substantial because you got to think about how much work you put in to get to that point at the end of the year. Um, so, and I'd say we're, we're, we're probably top heavy, but there's more of a pack there than there was last year as well. Um, I think that, that the, gap, the gaps have been shut down a little bit, and I think that that will ultimately pay off in the scores. Because um, that's where we lost sight of it last year, is and that we had some some gaps that would happen. We would we would look really good early, and as the fourth and fifth runners would come in, then we would tend to slip down the rankings a little bit. How about uh, both runners? It, it, how does that affect you as runners when there are more uh, more teammates? Uh, maybe have an effect on your race. It makes the world of difference, really. I feel like. Um, all the newcomers coming in, like just the week that we've had together, like we've bonded really well, we've messed really well. They all have like such a like a new energy, like that I really like haven't felt this strong until this year. And you know, this is Devin and I senior year, and like we're both super excited, super motivated. Um, we had like a good summer of training, and then just that I feel like the freshmen did too, and just we're just all so excited. Like we have goals. We've been talking about you know goals. Um, even like in the first week as far as like conference goals, regional goals, or just, you know, ultimately to get the nationals. So I'm super excited. Like this is definitely the most excited I've been um, throughout my four years, for sure. I agree with Renee. The freshmen brought in like a big difference. Like their energy, they're super positive, really motivated. They trained extremely hard this summer. They came in and killed their time trial. I think they're going to be a huge difference on the team. Definitely going to be closing the, in the gaps. Uh, they. It's just comp the atmosphere on the team this year is different. Uh, we're we're closer. They're like it's it's really hard to explain. They're just like they're really positive. They're really motivated, and it's different from all the other years. Did you know by reputation that, that some of these girls were capable of doing that, or is it something you just sort of figured out after they got here and you were struck by? It? I didn't really know much about them until they came. Like I had looked up, you know, I knew what Caleb had told us, and I briefly met them. Um, but like you can just you can just tell when someone's hungry to run fast times, and I feel like that it's my senior year now. I'm trying to have more of like a leadership example to the team, whereas like you know before I was more of just you know I had no I didn't race in high school or anything, so this was all like new to me. But I feel like now I can be in more of a leadership position and just kind of like encourage them and you know um, help them grow, like I feel like I have throughout the past four years, and just you know be a stronger team altogether. They're they're definitely hungry. They uh, they constantly pushing us. I mean, I I just I agree with Renee. How much uh, you know, both of you personally senior year? I mean, you know, how how you have watched yourselves each individually develop as runners, and, and then maybe with this influx of enthusiasm with the freshman class, and how do you, how do you see your own development, and how do you approach your senior year with goals and, and enthusiasm? Um, I feel like. Like uh, I think one of the other teams was talking about like a sense of urgency almost, and it's not like I'm like, oh, it's my senior year, I have to do everything, but I just feel like everything's kind of come full circle. Like all the training, I feel like each year, like we've, Dev and I together really have been able to learn more about, you know, just running in general and racing and stuff, and that this year it's kind of like come full circle that like this is a year like we're going to make our goals come true, and this is a year that we're going to achieve those goals. We're not going to end the season like we did last year, saying, oh, I wish we had done better. This year we are going to do better, and we are better. Yeah, we're, we use, uh, we're going to use last year as definitely motivation, as a push. Um, Renee and I really running together and everything. Uh, I think this year is going to be better. It's going to be, there's going to be a huge improvement this year. I mean, I, I've trained really hard over the summer. 
Um, I'm gonna, you know, I'm doing the little things like the getting the great rest, you know, doing the stretches and drinking the, the water, water and everything. <laughs> exactly, because I struggled with that. So, um, with it being my senior year as well, uh, you always want to go like your last year out with the bang. You know, you want your last year to be your best year. So, um, that's definitely even like gives you an even more bigger push. Aside from the influx of the, the, the dynamic of having influx of talent, Caleb, from your perspective, what does this team maybe have to do differently, or, or is it just a matter of having some, an influx of uh, young runners, but uh, do differently to be to be better? At the end? Well, I mean, the, the sport that we're in, it's um, I mean, it's a time commitment. You know, it's it takes years to develop, you know, potential. You know, sometimes that happens very quickly. Sometimes that takes time. Um, and I felt like we've been nurturing this along for a little bit, and uh, and everything's kind of come to a point where we have some senior leadership that's you know kind of on the rise, and some freshmen that are come in and basically going to be competitive amongst them. So it's creating a fire uh, amongst the group, and uh, I think that. That's ultimately where we're at right now. You can really see that. You see some people, like she, like Devin said, oh, she's doing little things, and it was hard for her to grasp that at, at first, you know, because you don't realize how much getting enough sleep matters for runners. You don't remember how to get in the whole trifecta of eating, sleeping, and drinking plenty of water. Um, it, it makes a big difference, and everybody's starting to buy into that mentality, and uh, that's where we are, and I think that it's just like the perfect storm of things, and this is ultimately, I mean, we're super excited about this season. You can ask each and one of the people on the team, and they're, I mean, they're hungry. They're like, we could be something special this year.